Um, so I'm not going to make it too, too long. But I wanted to react and go through the reactions to the State of Overwatch video that went on yesterday. And there's a lot of agreeing. But it's 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 really sad the way people the people that disagree don't disagree for reasons I would have hoped or reasons I would have like wanted to see. I mean, a lot of the top ones is just kind of like everyone kind of like agreeing or just like you know, game has been slowly in decline and stuff like that, and that makes sense. And that makes sense. Um, you know, we haven't gotten anything new for a while, and, and you know these these make a lot of sense, right? And I'm glad that a lot of people agree with these. By the way, this has only been out for like a couple hours, to be honest. So I should give it more time. Um, but I don't think it's going to change that much as the day goes on. But. <sighs> I'm at least happy that they're not like, you know liked a lot or talk comments a lot um but once you get past all people that are agreeing it kind of gets it kind of gets weird you know so it's like i don't even know if like there's any kind of disagreement that actually makes sense because like i don't i, I don't know it's, you know what let's just do this let's just go the best way to find dog comments is do sort by newest. So let's do this. Let's refresh it. And then do this. Let's go. What's up, Violet? Um, let me see. I'm a relatively new player, so with the ch them changing McCree's name, honestly, just feels superficial. It's pretty. It's a pretty gesture. It maybe it may mean something, but all in all, it's just a surface level change. I'm going to say this before I even go any further. What I meant yesterday saying that like the the community's gotten so much smaller that the sh stuff has gotten much louder is because the room has gotten less people in it. So if you had a room with 100,000 people all talking and like saying nice things and you had one dude in like the corner yelling some dog another dude in the corner yelling some dog you know what I mean? Like, you'd never hear them just because there's so much other stuff that's happening. Now, it went from, like, what used to probably be, like, one in every 50 comments to now, like, one in every 10 or even less, depending on how it goes. So, let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see if my my assumption yesterday is proven right. And I don't even think that part of the video even came out in this one. I think that's in part two. So. Uh, um... I love Overwatch, but it's not fun anymore. Agreed. Game is great. I think you guys are suffering from... Wait. Game is great. I think you guys are suffering from burnout. Maybe try diversifying your hobbies, and you will appreciate this one more. I've been playing weekly for years, and it's great. If you do anything 10 hours a day, it's a job, and jobs are work. It's not always fun. Some personal responsibility. I don't mean to sound callous, and I very much so acknowledge my own bias, but... It if games take up a large majority of your time, of course you're going to lose slash love passion for them. Oh, but we haven't gotten anything in a year and a half. That's a good thing. I mean, I for one am against changing McCree's name. Actually, like, we could mock that motherfucker into the ground for that kind of anim with that kind of ammunition still around. Or you could thought you were a cow. I, I honestly, I'm not gonna read the rest of this. Like, I feel like this is like almost like supposedly ironic, but like, uh, it's gonna be the same argument of people like they. It's like, oh, people didn't know uh, McCree for the the IRL guy, so like, who cares? That you know, like, people don't actually know that dude. The same thing would happen with Pog Champ, right? Remember with, with Pog Champ? For those who don't know, the emote was uh, an emote that was based off a guy who is heavily anti-vax, spewed a lot of hate, a lot of a lot of dog shit. So Twitch removed PogChamp and replaced it with Komodo Hype 
as the new pog champ and people were very upset because they're like oh who cares about that guy like it's just an remote but it was his face like i don't think you understand like the, the like the same people were mad about pog champ we're like, oh, I just like the facial expression. I like the emote. Yeah, like, you know, is that probably true? Like, did most people not know that person? They knew the emote? Yes. But it's still basing it off of someone that's a piece of shit. And you don't want to give that legacy to them in any way, shape, or form. And renaming a hero? Really? Like, that's the hill we're going to die on? Because he's named after someone that was part of the Bill Cosby suite? The sh like the worst part, some of the worst parts of the whole investigation. We're gonna we're gonna die on that hill. If you haven't noticed, for those in the, in the back, a lot of the Overwatch League desk casters, etc., don't call McCree by McCree anymore. They call him the Cowboy. His name in the lore isn't is his name. His real name isn't even supposed to be McCree. In the lore, it literally says that it's a code name. It hints that it's not his actual name. So changing his name from McCree to to whatever they decide to change it to actually would make sense because it's just an, an alias. You know, like it's just a sh to die on, and I don't think that's the end of this. I, I don't think it is. Um, is Vlad's talking about the obvious again? Making content talking about the state of Overwatch? Oh, well, I guess he's got to pay the bill somehow. So if I don't talk, who's going to talk about it then? Who talks about it? Like I said, the dog shit comments went from, like, you know, you have like here, there, like a few. They have severely picked up. The curve has gone straight upwards in the last year or two as the game has dropped off. Because that pool of people have gone from very big to very small. Uh, when Heroes of the Storm has more updates than Overwatch, you know there's a problem. Is that true? Is that actually true? I have no idea. Um, I, 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 actually, I actually read this one real, earlier really quick. So, um, if I was in the game in two way, I found your videos fun to watch. Ultimately, you have to balance to... What your audience wants to see and what you want to play, you do you. Anyone doesn't understand this, they can honestly they're fans of yours. That's true. That's true. But I mean it's still scary. Still scary. Um problem is Overwatch isn't sustainable for platform for streamers and professional players for the future. That's very true. The Overwatch Rule 34 Reddit has five times more than Overwatch Base Reddit. I don't know if that's true, but I'm gonna be honest with you, Overwatch Base Reddit is a piece of shit anyways. If you go to Overwatch base Reddit, it's literally just Silver Diva Bomb clips. That's it. Like, that's it. There's also, I've never really talked about this before, but there's actually this weird stigma from Overwatch, uh, Overwatch base Reddit that they genuinely hate high level players. Um, if you try to put any clip of a high level play or any, like any, if it's actually like it shows your rank, it will get downvoted or not looked at at all. It's 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 wild, and 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 most most high level players actually know that because most people who get really good at a video game, right, at some point start to think like, oh, should I try to stream or make content? Like I'm pretty good. Like people might watch me, right? And if you are going to get started, what's one of the best ways to start promoting yourself, right? Like you put like clips out somewhere, like YouTube or TikTok or Reddit or something like that, right? I promise you. Almost every high level Overwatch player has ever tried to put one on 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 Reddit. It is not it does not hit. Like people they legitimately will like like throw you into the ground. And it's funny. Um uh, there was actually a video. It's my first ever montage that got made. Retro made it back when I was like a 20 viewer Andy and I'd never posted really there. Maybe like one off clips here or there, right? And I posted this and it got like eight upvotes in like 10 minutes. And then a mo an admin deleted it. And I was like, why'd you do that? And he was like, self-promotion. And I was like, motherfucker, the whole, the whole Reddit is literally people posting clips and stuff. Like, how is posting a video of clips any different? And he was like, I don't care. It's self-promotion. I was like, are you just not having like a power trip right now? Like, that's the whole point of the Reddit. Like, look around at everyone else. Like... It's literally all clips. The guy was like, no, I don't care. And I was like, oh, okay. 
Okay. Cool, dude. So, uh, yeah. Overwatch Reddit is a little weird. Uh, and kind of cringe, to be honest with you. Sorry, sorry. Let me, let me, let me, let me take, let me take part of that back. Overwatch main page Reddit is cringe. Like the regular Overwatch one. That one is cringe. Um... Okay, people are mad because it's a PR stunt. That's absolutely not true. Instead of fixing things that actually matter in the game, they're changing an imaginary character's name. This is just, this is, and again, the rule has started to change. It went from one in every 50 to one in every 10 or less, and it's becoming that. An imaginary character's name. Okay, so then why do you get upset about imaginary character's name changing then? Just let him change it. Okay, if that's, if that's your logic, then just, just move on. Like if it, if it genuinely didn't bother you, you wouldn't even comment. You wouldn't even say that. You just you just move on. But you don't. It needs to be fair, serious fixes, and there needs to be real meaning to play. Even Jeff, who is keeping Overwatch going, left. So Jeff himself was the only one keeping the game going. Okay, that's an interesting take. A game, a name change is not going to get change anything about the game or make the game better in any shape or form. It's the same reason why WoW has fallen so far. Yeah, I don't think anyone ever said, hey, if we change this character's name, it's going to come back to life. That that wasn't, that didn't make sense. Example, the amount of people of time spent creating a skin that gives nothing to the game is a huge issue. Take the time spent on the last four to six skins and put that hours into fixing 2CP, adding a new map, or even new map type. 5 CP from TF2 would be good. That is why many of us are angry. People who design the skins are this group. People who do competitive balance are this group. Map designers and competitive map designers are this group. Uh, you do understand that, right? Like, they can have talks, like it's a company, they can work with each other, but they are different sections, right? Like, Jeff wasn't running around the office, running over and breaking out his fucking pen and paper and being like, Mercy skin! And then running over to the competitive side and be like, Buff soldier, and then run over to the fucking map designing side and be like, add a ramp to Horizon Lunar Call. Like that's not how that works. Like not even Hope a little bit. You have good games today, flat. <sighs> Why can't the corporate overlords just be decent human beings that talk with their dev team and don't force agendas? What? Maybe you didn't. Maybe that didn't happen. Companies would have scandals every fucking year. Uh, I don't know what this part means, but the rest, I like. You're you're on the right track, kinda. Um. Yes, we all wish for that. We all wish for that. Uh, when it comes to Overwatch, there's no game that has diverse and dynamic gameplay. Thank you for actually taking the point of the video. Thanks, dude. Um. Last two is where we visit you mostly. Much love, dude. That's a flat two plug strong. right there. Identity theft is not a joke. Jim, millions of families suffer every year. Um, I'd play 10 games without seven throwers and me being, t okay, you don't have seven throwers a game. Like I, listen, everyone, what kind of mass is on comp? Listen, dude, like I, I get it. There are throwers in Overwatch and it's kind of frustrating. Trust me, I get it. But like, not every game has throwers. Come on, bro. Um, wow, don't complain. play it. Don't say that, dude. I actually enjoy the game. I don't, need it to change much i have fun with it how it with how it is come play okay sure yeah i'm not even gonna say anything um okay smurfs not reading that what is the echo okay i'm gonna read like i'm gonna read like one two three four five six i'll read like ten more because honestly at this point it's kind of made my, my has Emong been key to your success? He 
you'll understand I was like a 300 viewer streamer before I even ever played with Emon, right? Like, we're just friends, like, like, we, we, we literally, like, hanging out IRL, like, it's a good shit, like, it's not as success, what? Yong literally uses two of my editors, like, we, we help each other, it's, like, if, to even imply that it's, like, only one way is kind of cringe, to be honest with you. Anyways, that's a good point of what, a, this actually, that, you know what, that, boop. Actually, it makes sense. It makes sense. It actually all ties in. Um, <clears throat> they were making new content after Echo. I got group board real quick. The updates didn't come in. In a sense, pissed me off. Five v five was announced. Oh, Roger's dead. Oh, and the whole thing. I don't know if it was talked about in this video or the next one. The whole five v five thing uh, to to cater to casuals and then not having any content is the worst idea ever. Just gotta throw that out there. Uh, I used to play a large, a large group of friends because of you, Emong, and all seven and wanted. Oh, that's really sweet. You guys gave me hope this game would be enjoyable and fun throughout, but all I got was constant meta abuse and annoyance, so I kept trying and trying. Personally, I don't think I've ever come back to the game. Oh, that, that hurt. It's sad. I'm moving on. I'm installing it tomorrow night. Damn, bro. Sorry about that. Nice video almost made me cry. Sorry, dude. Uh, but you like to not. Did, is that part of this video? The uh, Me talking about XQC? I don't know if that was part of this video or not. It might be the next one. Um, but oh, 100%. When, X when XQC left, it was actually a huge blow to the viewership of the game. There's a lot of people. There's actually a lot of streamers that got made just off XQC existing in the Overwatch space. I think of at least four off the top of my head that became streamers because they were either A, known XQC stream snipers, B, had funny inter interactions with them all the time in their games, or C, he hated them in-game and it became like a rivalry. Uh, wasn't Torb also named after a Blizzard employee? Maybe. Did they, you know, I, I mean, Blizzard said they're not going to rename any more characters after employees going forward. Flats, God, you man. are the better Ryan and the Ryan King. Got to support a man who stands up for what is right. No. We love you and all of your content, Flats. This is a 500 bits, dude. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Um, I, I don't. I don't think they I don't think it's anything about renaming characters or like that. Like I don't think they're gonna. But in the future they won't name anymore. Um, so yeah, I don't know how true this is, but this is insane Blizzard employees are responsible for their own actions. One person's actions shouldn't warrant the actions of others. This is literal cancel culture and it's pathetic. Love you, flats. Uh I honestly take a lot of almost offense or hate. Or, or dislike of love me. So you say you love me after that because this is stuff I stand for. Um, it's not cancel culture. Uh, it's a in-game character being renamed. That's it. Um, I, I, I don't know what else to tell you. I don't know what else to tell you. The, the, the employees are responsible for their own actions, yes, and, and legal repercussions will come down on them. But why keep a character named after someone that's a piece of... Like, that doesn't really make sense. Um, and I'm sure there's instances in real life where towns or streets or something were named after somebody, and then it, then they came out as a terrible person, or history said that they, like, found out, like, oh, hey, like, they were actually this type of person, and they renamed it. I'm sure there's instances around the world of that. It's actually not that uncommon. <clears throat> as when you realize, I'm not going to lie, I see all the passion and enjoyment in this community when it was released was so awesome. It's like a small family to all those related to another, uh, love this game. Uh, yeah, it, it is heartbreaking. I'm going to go to like here. Love your content, but honestly, the name change feels like an empty symbolic gesture. Um, I can understand that. I actually can understand that because, you know, sometimes you could want more. Um, but they do, the development team doesn't have much power that is what the power they have though is to rename um and that is their version of taking a stand and now most people who don't know this it's from my knowledge overwatch team was not involved in a lot of the shit that happened you know um they were not involved in a lot of the shit that happened but and they're actually very much against, and they're very much like a very protective group, um, the Overwatch team specifically. Um, so they are a little bit different than the rest of the company and the other development teams. Um, that being said, though, there's only so far that they are allowed to go, you know? 
Um, so I wouldn't say it's empty. I'd say that this is like them using the what bit of power that they have. People should be able to separate the company stuff with a fictional character, but all the stuff I agreed with. Uh, then okay. So then, what's the problem with it being renamed then? What's wrong? What's the problem with the fictional character changing their name? Real life people can change their name, right? Who cares? If that's you know differentiate, who cares then, right? I had to agree with Halo games. I got to Halo two seasons ago. Started playing support when it was Rush Monkey Fun comes. So I was love playing Halo Play. I'm still here, but I haven't played it for like a month now. This is not fun, and I honestly love watching your Apex content. Thanks, dude. Uh, and now I've seen devs destroy all the fun their game had. No content is is not so bad. No one prevents us as players to have fun. Only we choose to play no fun comps. Um, it's a competitive game. People will play whatever the best comp is to win. The best comps to win are the unfun comps. Sorry to break it to you. What keeps that from happening and keeping it from being stale is new heroes being released that shake up the meta and it keeps it almost in a constant state of being unable to be balanced. That's fact. What makes it especially painful is I remember how much fun they were all having five years ago in Overwatch World of the World and was getting lost to Swerve and Blizzard. I've been a huge Blizzard fanboy since I was playing Warcraft 3 in the early 2000s. Well, the Warcraft used to be so good as well, but the OG founders have all moved on and toxic idiots from Activision ran all into the ground. Okay, I, 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 I have to say this. I can't say we all can put all the blame on Activision. I, I don't think it's, I don't think we can. Um, maybe there's some, some bureaucracy up top that we don't know about, but the lack of content, the slow pace of content you know, whether they just don't have the manpower, they don't have a team large enough, you know, to be able to putting it out that type of content as fast. I don't think we can blame everything on them because it was already an embarrassingly slow rate when we were still getting content and now we're getting nothing, to be honest with you. Um, no, I really think you should blame the devs waiting four years to announce a sequel is insane. Overwatch 2 shouldn't have been out by the end of 2019, but the devs thought of releasing a hero or a map over three years was enough. And what the fuck, why would you be working working on PvE mode? Uh, PvE, I think, is actually a, a really, really smart idea for them to work on as a company. And that could really bring a huge casual audience. The PvE mode is taking so much resource away from PvP, the core, the money-making aspect of the game is PvP. No, I agree with you. Imagine spending $20 million to join Alan being told the sequel was PvE. Okay, honestly, listen, dude. I definitely disagree. I think PvE is 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 a good addition, and I think it's smart because having more players play the game means more people that are going to have a chance to try PvE or watch Overwatch League and give it a shot. Because more people playing the game means more people interested. However, though, you're not wrong. Like The, the whole thing with this whole PvE and PvP is... A whole new team should have been being added over time anyways if they were going to add a lot of pve stuff taking away everyone from the team to go work on pva P or uh rush 2 is it, it you're right it, it it's that's not what the game was about originally like you can always add on to a game but to, to kill off or to not take care of the part that brought you there um while completely swapping is just not a good idea more mad that we're getting a fucking FFA map. True. Too much I try to play all the time. Content is nowhere to be seen. Yeah, Overwatch is one of those games that you can play like once every three months and it's the same game. Still think Overwatch has a lot of things to give. True. I mean, you learned how to master every single hero, perfect aim, fire. achievement, every strip, or achieved every achievement. Just doing things to say, don't give up early. The game too early. It's not over till it's over. Uh, I think that I, honestly, I, you know what? I'm gonna give you. I'll give you the optimism. I'm not gonna take it down. I'm not gonna tear you down. As bullshit, people get upset at streamers for doing things, other things. I get it. Some Overwatch is mainly one in three streamers, and then some playing it makes no sense to take it out on them. Yeah, thanks, dude. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Overwatch is the new content for 1.5 years. A lot of players will drop. Let's see, real gamers. People don't usually play the same thing over and over. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the same hardcore group, 100%. That's kind of what we have left, is like casual who sometimes queue in, um, but otherwise it's like the, the hardcore group. It's impossible to keep a game like this alive forever. Uh, no, I agree. It's definitely impossible, but it died way faster than it should have. They should make a rush free at this point. Agreed. Okay. The reactions are really tragic. That's really well put. It's kind of how I felt. 
and maybe look at other Overwatch content creator in a different light based on how they've reacted. All right. So what did this what did this teach me? And I know there's a lot more. And to be honest with you, I'm scared. I'm scared to hit the refresh button. 308. 342. Oh Jesus Christ. Um, I'm scared to to even you know go further. To be honest with you. Um, but if this has taught me anything is there is still a lot of love and passion for the game but it i feel like most people are in agreement that like we all realize we're in trouble at this point we all realize we're in trouble um but if you didn't understand what i was saying with how uh it's kind of gotten louder and it's gotten angrier etc especially from a streamer prv um or youtuber pov Hopefully this kind of sheds a little bit of light on that.